Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah, rolling, 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 rolling. rolling. What? Rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah, rolling, 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 rolling. What? Well, you get the point. Yeah, it's going to be an Undertaker video. So listen. I'm going to be really brutally honest here. When I was watching in 2001, okay 2000 2001 when the undertaker was given the american badass gimmick i hated it 100 percent. okay i hated it because i grew up with the phenom undertaker i grew up with the paul bearer oh my undertaker you know how did we go from that to rolling, 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 rolling? You know, like it was just, it just seemed so dumb to me. I was like, dude, that ain't The Undertaker. That's just some like, that's just some biker guy. You know, that ain't The Undertaker. But now as an adult going back and watching the Attitude Era and seeing the transition i'm like totally down with it like i love it it's almost like <clears throat> at the time it was too much of a shock um you know I, I guess it was too much of a shock like i said seeing the undertaker with paul bearer go to the american badass you know um to me it really like makes sense now going back why I appreciate it more because then he did go back to the phenom you know like an upgraded version which let's be honest as soon as you hear well the, the as soon as you see the lights go out and you hear the boom you know you know like some badass intros about to happen like you could literally watch the undertaker walk down the ramp with the lights off and the lights on his face and stuff like walking all slow you could literally watch that for three hours and you're still entertained you don't even need to see the match you know but the point is it's interesting how over the course of 20 years or so from 2001 to now that my opinion has drastically changed about the american badass and how great the combination was with the brothers of destruction where Kane's fire would hit and then it would go right into Limp Bizkit's rolling, you know? I And then they would come walking out together. I mean, it was freaking badass. It really was. And I didn't appreciate it as a kid because I was just butthurt. I was like, that's not The Undertaker. That's not him, you know? So what do you guys think? Did you like... The Undertaker's American Badass gimmick? Or did you prefer the Phenom? How do you feel? Because I'll be honest, they're just different. They're just different. Okay? They're both badass. They're both awesome. But I couldn't understand that as a kid. Now I'm much more open-minded. And uh, I love it. I would love... I wish he would come back just out of retirement, just as the American badass again, because he could totally pull it off, you know? Anyway, that's all I got to say. Subscribe, turn on all notifications if you love wrestling. Let's build that bond. Hit that like, comment, Taker307 if you made it to this part of the video. And remember, keep watching that wrestling. We'll keep talking about it.